Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride really well and as the first update went down really well with you guys I just want to take a moment here to say thank you thank you thank you for all the lovely comments on that vlog guys they're all so lovely for it being such a subtle thing and for me noticing is really good and it's just little things like that that made me I was a bit nervous about posting it to be quite honest it can be a bit daunting for us horse owners to ever admit that the is something wrong or that we need to go get help we need to have the experts the vet lauren things like that but it's not that is horsey life and yeah so i just wanted to basically say thank you if you haven't yet seen it and wondering what on earth i'm talking about i will pop lola update vlog in the description below for you but you've just joined me i am out on a hack at the moment i'm not gonna lie my day has swapped around a little bit i was hoping to get her bathed clipped and then go out on a lovely smart looking horse but as you can tell we have most definitely not clipped yet and uh, she's not looking very smart she is very woolly dusty muddy minging basically which i think to be honest a lot of horses in these winter months are we're just going up a little bit here which i probably should be putting my phone down but you're being a good girl very good girl I've been being very careful and not using my phone for like Insta stories whilst I've been out on her because she has been feeling rather fresh. She's keen to be out, which is a real lovely feeling. And I've also been, we've only been doing short loops. So we are now trotting and we have had a couple of little canters, which the first canter she found a little bit exciting, but leg on, moved her on and she was okay. I'm being very picky on what surface I canter on and trot on, to be honest with you. Probably noticed that the background has changed, but it suddenly started getting quite windy and going through that little bit where I was, I needed to have both hands on the reins and be sensible, which is what I was talking about. I have been very good and not used my phone much, she says. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it right now and going to regret it, but she does seem much calmer today. <laughs> Why am I doing it to myself? We are just walking along this canter path. So as I was also saying, I'm very fussy on what ground I'm doing what on. We've got a couple of canter paths which are good and not too muddy or slidey. And this one, we haven't actually been down this one at all yet, have we, Miss Lola? I'm doing different routes and loops every time to try and keep it varied because I am aware that Miss Lola does get bored of hacking. But there is less than a week now, but we will then be back in the school. Eek! And to be fair, that is when I am going to notice the most. As people commented on the last vlog, the, when there is an issue with the SI, it is so subtle. Um, and to be able to notice it when out hacking, not really sure. There's certain things that she does. Like I've noticed the last couple of weeks that she's really walking, striding out downhill, which she was never doing. She is just a lot more, I don't know if it's because she's now doing stuff, but a lot more keen to go and i feel like stronger like she's able to actually use herself and she's taken a hold from me so overall i think she's feeling better fingers crossed but of course as i say it will be when we are back in a school which won't be very long and i have got something to trial should i say i haven't used it yet it's still actually in the box but it arrived this week and i'm really excited because i think it's going to be fantastic to keep an eye and analyze our training there's a little clue for you so yeah more on that obviously to come i haven't even got it out of the box yet so i can't comment on it i don't know but i have seen the reviews and the way that it works i'm very impressed with so i am super excited to give it a try so my day has switched around we have had a fun morning playing ponies with sprite and banksy and i was then hoping to come home bath her get her clipped and ride her out but the, it's already like middle afternoon and I'm just a bit conscious. I can clip and wash in the dark. Well, not in the dark anymore because if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've got new lights and they are amazing. Maybe I can actually finally 
that's a good point. I can finally trial out filming in them and see how the quality comes out. Before, once it started to get about three o'clock, I can't really film much around my stables. It's really difficult, but that's no longer the case. So yeah, that is a good test to do as well today. Can you tell? I know it's so sad, but I get so buzzing about these lights. Chris did an absolute fantastic job and I am loving them. I've only had them since Sunday, but absolutely just game changer for me to be fair. So I thought let's get a ridden because tomorrow is meant to be absolutely horrendous rain, wind. I think it's like 50 mile per hour winds that I was like, mm, I won't be riding tomorrow. So I desperately do need to get her out today. So at least I know that I've done that. Riding to me, obviously getting her clipped up and health wise is important. But for me, I have more important to get her out and get her ridden. I didn't want her to have a couple of days off and possibly maybe Saturday as well. I'm not sure because I don't know how long the weather's in for. So not that I am a fair weather rider, guys, but when it's 50 mile per hour winds and you've got a horse that you're trying to bring back slowly and not do any damage, it's just silly to go out in that. And we all know that Spritey doesn't like that weather either. So they've both had a good ride today. They can have tomorrow off and we'll see what Saturday brings. But at least I now feel so much better that I've got a ridden and I'm not rushing, clipping, bathing and thinking I still need to ride and it's gonna get dark and then not have time to. So that is the reason I've swapped the day around. I will have to post a photo once she's all smart again. I mean, her mane's not too bad. Usually her mane at this time of the year is awful, but actually I did that before going to the vet. So yeah, that's all nice and short and lovely. We just got to tackle this, which I think when you look at her, she doesn't, oh, I'm not even showing you her. I think when you look at her, she doesn't seem like she's got much coat, but I have noticed that she's been having sweat patches and it's been getting hot and her neck's been sweaty. So she does need doing. And of course, when we get back in the school next week, not that we will be going that hard, but I just can't wait. I'm, yeah, as you can imagine, I really, really miss schooling. I had a little school on Banksy today. Now, don't get me wrong, Spritey is obviously epic. Did I mention Spritey and you've got to do that in her honour? Having a drink, Lola. Get a bit worried about holding my phone over this river. Spritey is absolutely fab, but of course she has got limitations, should I say, to a point. Um, and yeah, I, don't, oh, I feel a bit mean saying that about her, but I'm hoping you guys know what I mean. But I had a little school on Banksy and yeah, it's nice when you know that you're going to... I like progressing, basically. And Spritey is just Spritey. She's already awesome. She's got no more progress in the awesome field to do. Yeah, that's what I would say. Oh, anyways, I've totally blabbed. This is a very, very long intro. I'm going to carry on my ride because actually this little bit up here and the downhill that we then go, Miss Lola gets rather excitable. So phone's going back in pocket. The wind is already, I think, picking up. Actually, maybe I am glad that I've ridden now. And we'll get home and get a bath. It's bath time, are you getting excited already? She's quite often just like a giraffe. <laughs> and woo, and phone back in pocket. Ride complete. I'm just giving a little bit of a before. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of this mud off because yes, I am. About time, isn't it? Oh, look at you. Tail needs doing. Oh, you are just. At least you'll be matching your little patch. Hey. So let's get rid of the mud, go indoors, get some warm water, and get back in. Stage one completed. I don't know how many stages there's actually going to end up being, but yeah, okay, stage one. I've gotten rid of the bulk of the mud because you know what it's like when the water goes with that, it just ends up being muddy water and then all over her. So now to just putting keys in my pocket. Buckets at the ready, and we'll go get some warm water for you, Miss Lola. It's winter, I'm nice to you. May have just put on some Christmas tunes in here. Alexa, turn the volume up. Had my little coffee. Gotta be careful, because I don't want to get demonetized, but yeah, having a little coffee. Two buckets are filled up. Third one, almost done. And then start carrying them out whilst the fourth one is filling up. Buckets of waters and done. Now, in case you are a new subscriber, I am aware that I've had quite a few. So hi to all you newbies. If you're a long-term follower, you will know that I haven't got hot water or very fast running water here at all. So this is why I do buckets. So I mix warm and cold together. 
Um, we have a massive water tank over there and another one by the garage. And then I do half and half, so it's then like lukewarm. So this at the moment is oh, pretty hot. And then, which I obviously get from the house, mix it in with the cold, and then that's what I use to bath. So I get them wet with a sponge to begin with. So I've got my bathing bucket here, which has got my shampoo jug, because that's what I basically rinse them with. Um, so I start off with a sponge. First of all, got to mix the water. Then dump them with a sponge, add shampoo, and then rinse with my jug, just like that. I do have a rubber, this is actually my mum, so this is probably like 30 odd years old, <laughs> um, which I just whizzle around to get in deep to the coat. Um, there's so many different things out there that you can use, guys, um, but I've just found that this has stayed in my bathroom bucket and I've used quite a lot. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I have already put the lights on just because it was already starting to get quite dark and I'm really glad that I did ride because time is disappearing and the weather is coming horrible. So I think we did the right thing Lola and ride first um, and then whilst you're drying I can sort out all the stables because I still am yet to do that. It has been an absolute full on day today. Oh, you look cute. You're going to look so much better by the end of this though. You are. You're like, yes mum, just hurry up. I want to get, I want to get back and look smart. We've got no pony party we're going to, by the way. Should I warn you that now? Uh, right, yeah. As, as Lola's told me, or well, what Lola I know is thinking, let's crack on and get bathing. Okay, so the black bucket came on first. I'm actually going to take my top off because I don't want that to get soaking wet and I think I'm going to want something warm to go on it. Yeah, yeah. You're so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put that up there. up. I am using, I've got a very little amount left in this one, and then I've got more the full one here, which is the NAF Pimp My Pony. If you saw me bathing Sprite the other day, you will know that that is what I was using. So, let's go. Oh, Lola, I can't wait to see you look clean. to get my block now though. I think. 
aren't you? Yes, you're a hair monster. I'm now going to do her face. Her face definitely needs washing as well, and her tail, but I thought at least if I get her main body scraped off, rug on to help dry her a bit. I don't know if I'm trying to overachieve of getting her clipped as well this evening. I'm not quite sure. I've got, as I said, the stables to do, so I shall get her face done, her tail done. At least then she's completely bathed. They're not being ridden tomorrow, so I can always clip her tomorrow. I just don't want to be here and like half clipping, half not because it's still wet. I'd rather just get on, get it done in one go, if that makes sense. And the weather is starting to turn already, but perhaps tomorrow I could actually put her in her stable out of the wind and the rain because the rain is starting to come in here, which it doesn't always because I have got a roof over the top, which I'm very fortunate for. Not so much wet here, but where the phone is stood right now is getting it damp, which I'm hoping is not stopping it from falling. So let's get on, get our face done, do the stables, and we'll see where we're at. The fun of plan? Is that a plan? Uh -uh. Oh, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to put you in the eye. You're going to feel so much better, aren't you? there's anything in here for her your dinner will be coming in a bit i'm sorry it's a bit late tonight but that is bathing done and dusted i do think i am trying to sound of me try to squeeze too much into one day and as much as i would love to get on and get her clipped now being realistic is she going to be dry in time or dry enough for clippers mm, probably not i've still got to muck out and all so we will see but i do think i'm probably better off just not admitting defeat but it's not admitting defeat it's not that but you know what i mean like just saying yeah that's enough for today i'm feeling a little bit cold and i'm not sure if i actually want to get covered in hair right now time to get on get the stables mucked out and yeah, we'll go from there. The stables are an absolute mess. And then you can have some dinner and we'll reassess you, but looking at, <laughs> looking at you right now, I don't think you're gonna be dry. It's just that you're so woolly. Yeah, you've had enough too, haven't you, for one day? Yeah, they've both been in all day. Yeah, you're nodding in agreement. They've both been in all day. Not been out at all, have you? So, well, you've been out for a ride but I think you just probably had enough of me fiddling around with you. This fight you just going to bite to a bottom? Is that what just happened? What that little joke was about? Anyways, stop blabbing, get on, get the stables done. One little tip that I have forgot to share, just in case you are new here, is of course, whilst still wet, put some silky mane and tail into their tail, and then if it's anything like what Miss Lola's is and not been brushed out for a little while, it will make it an awful lot easier tomorrow. As well as obviously in the tail, you can put some shine spray on them. I have got some razzle dazzle here somewhere. I need to find that. Um, and I'll be putting that on her coat just again to help the clippers glide through the coat nice and easily. Obviously we have bathed her and she is gonna have to go out in the morning. So probably is gonna end up with a bit of mud, but at least I've gotten down deep to the skin of the coat by bathing her which hopefully then the mud will just be on top tomorrow and come off nice and easily and still the clippers will glide nicely through. Admittedly, it is now two days later. Yesterday was absolutely horrible weather as it was forecasted and I thought that I would clip instead of riding, but that didn't end up happening. Um, you were a soggy mess when you came in, when you came in a bit earlier, but you are feeling lovely soft and clipped ready. So let's get your rug off. Before I take a rug off, just a couple of little tips that I would say yeah our tips i would yeah my tips um of course wearing a helmet even though my girls are both very very good to be clipped 
accidents do happen and I actually did break my ankle when I was clipping a horse many moons ago quite a while ago over 10 years now but like I say you never know what could happen so always recommend wearing a helmet and also you will see that my hair is tied back in a bun again from personal experience even if it's in a ponytail I may have accidentally uh cut the uh the clippers through my hair like only like a little bit not like the whole lot but if you whip it around and when you're down and around doing like their legs and underneath and things and their belly the hair can get in the way and uh, yeah can get caught by the clippers the clippers i use are the lister liberty ones with a mains plug something i may have nice new lights but there is also going to be a plug socket in my stables Eek! so i don't need to run an extension leave from the garage but yes these are the ones that I use. I love them. They were very kindly gifted by my daddy to me when I had bought a couple of cheaper brand clippers and they kept breaking mid clip and I was obviously getting rather frustrated and yeah, dad uh, went out and treated me to a pair of clippers and yeah, I love them. They're super lightweight, easy and yeah, as you'll see, they clip nice too. My pony is going to sleep. I think you're going to sleep all the way through this, aren't you? Oh. She says, no, not me, I'm awake. I'm awake. Right, let's get that rug off, Miss Lola, and let's get you looking smart. I love how your clippers match your hair. <laughs> of course I think. Don't tell me you didn't plan that. <laughs> Oh, it's nice that you've got the sun shining in on her whilst doing it though. Yeah, I'm not Yeah, imagine doing it last night. The rain was coming, beating in sideways. Oh, she's such a good girl to clip too. I'm casting a lovely shadow on her. We can't complain about shadows though. It means the sun is shining and there's blue sky. See, yeah, it goes in funny directions like that. Oh, yeah. Your horses and their worlds. I know, they have got funny in there. Somebody wants to go out, I think, Mum. I know. Very late, aren't we? Alright, Spiders! I want to go in the field. I want to go in the field, I do. I'm already naked, I don't need queuing up to be clipped. That's coming off pretty easily, though, isn't it? It is, and she's looking shiny underneath me, just please. <laughs> Forget in there, guys. I'm not going to lie, I feel like this is the worst. I've ever done which is typical when I'm obviously filming I just feel like my lines around the top of the legs there are awful I don't know why and I'm all mismatched I usually um I don't know whether it's because obviously I had help from Tina pulling her legs forward which was fab while she was here that was really good because mum and dad are out <laughs> it's just like I've done part of the neck and down here part of the belly there's still a little bit left um, and then I've also done the other side, which usually, I mean, I have done quite a bit this side. Hi, Spikey, you're getting fed up, I know. I usually do all one side, spin around, do all the other side, do a head. That's usually the way that I do it. But today, we're mixing it up. We're doing a bit here, there and everywhere, aren't we? Yes, the sun is shining, so I'm not as much as it is lovely having the sunshine, but you can see shadows and everything like that. So I don't know what it's going to come out like, but... Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> so I just cracked on for a minute, put the phone down and just tried to like, you know, make up for the rest of it being a bit rubbish and actually get maybe one good leg. So that leg is now done. I've just got obviously the top of the bum and the neck and obviously the other side, but this is when my trusty, my bitty dog, you're gonna have a clip, are you? My trusty block because Lola is much bigger than Spritey and uh, yeah. As you know, I'm not that tall. So I have to stand up like this uh, to do her mane. Oh, your mane feels lovely and soft and silky. So let's try and not cut off all your mane now, shall we? Yeah. 
Yeah, she says, no, no, mum, I don't want my mane done. My mane taken off, but hopefully. It's nice and short, so it does stay out of the way quite well. <laughs> shooting across the valley and somebody's getting absolutely wired. You suddenly woke up, you're not sleepy anymore. You look very shiny though. Oh no, how comes the poos? We need you facing the other way though, don't we? I would show you what I do. <laughs> She's so patchy, I'm doing so badly. Um, of what I do with their tails. Now I do something different to what I do in the summer. Usually I use scissors in the summer, but when they're not going out and about as much as what they do, I think this is just a really quick, easy win, basically. And all it is, you can see where it's shorter and bushy. Basically, I just go up along at an angle, out, oh, out with the clippers. <laughs> My track record today is not going very well anyway. But I would then just tidy that up with the rake and a pair of scissors if we were to be going somewhere. But yeah, like the top bit, I need to tidy up, but you can only really do that. It's a bit hard to do it with big bulky scissors, isn't it, Miss Lola? Okay. But I thought I'd just show you my little trick for in the winter. Right, so let's get the remaining hair off of you. You've got patches all over the place, haven't you? And your mane and then your face. Yeah. You're such a good girl. We've just done the fiddly bits of your head, haven't we? Which, we're just wanting to look out to the valley. And <laughs> the reason you're now facing this way. And gave my clippers just a chance just to cool down because they have been going a bit non-stop. So now back on to doing this line up here and touching up and that. That leg. This is taking me so much longer than what it ever normally does. I don't know why. I usually use the libretto max trimmers but unfortunately they are blunt i have never had them sharpened they have done very very well to be fair um but tina very kindly lent me her master clip or they called showmate and these are battery operated and have been very good going in and around her eyes i can do obviously the bulk with the normal clippers, that's not a problem that underneath, that's just like a good big swoop. And then any bits that I miss, I go over with the trimmers. I never used to have trimmers and I did really do the whole face. I've once done that Sprite, all her legs, everything, just with main clippers as well. So it is doable. You don't have to have 
trimmers, but right, phone down, time lapse I think now, just to crack on and get finished. These ponies are itching to go out, aren't you? To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? It's not really helping. There's a shoot going off on the over the valley, which is why you're absolutely quiet. You're not doing very good. Oh, nice turn. Nice Silly baby dancing night away I'll kick my shoes up if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you Woohoo! One sexy look at Miss Lola I'm sexy and I know it Ah, oh, you look beautiful Can I just give her a quick brush out? Quick little brush and the new ponies and it's also a good chance to see if you've missed anything. I am absolutely minging. Look how fluffy that is. That's so fluffy. Oh. No wonder you took so long to dry. Hey? No wonder. You're so pretty. I love it when your face is done. As I said, I am absolutely minging. So I'm gonna give her a good brush then. I'll come back later and she can have a hot wash. I think they just need to get out and to be honest I need to get home and get showered. I'm rather itchy. It's like those it's like when you cut chilies, don't then touch your eyes or your nose or anything. But she's looking good. Just double checking I haven't really missed anywhere. Let's walk north. Come back. Come back, Jock. Maybe that. Whack your rug on. Oh, I have missed a few bits here, maybe I'll just tidy that up a second problem is is that you keep looking and looking don't you and then um i quite often will leave the clippers out for a couple of days just because when i then go to get get on and ride and things like that i'm like oh i've missed this bit and i can top it up but yeah just here doesn't look it looks like there's bits here missing so just gonna do that little bit and then get your rug on she's absolutely wild aren't you yes. look at the state of me though you don't think of after there it is there's the roll. Oh, good roll too. <laughs> yeah, I think she's feeling well. That gunshot could not have been. And Sprite is going. Come on, Sprite. Better after she's been hot, 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 h
So I've got oh, lovely warm water, which is five litres, and then for every five litres is one of these caps. Lovely. And it smells delish. <laughs> delish? Not that I'm going to eat it or drink it, but it just smells amazing. It smells so good. It's the NAF. Love the skin he's in. Wash. No rinse. And as it says there, for lumps and bumps, rashes and spots, greasy skin, and great for clip skin too. Apply it neat to any sores that they might have. Lola hasn't actually got any at the moment. Um, but she is quite good at like grazing herself. So I do quite often pop it on to the cloth and then just apply it neat to those. Um, but we'll just give that a bit of a mix around. I'll rinse that out. And then get hot coffee. Thanks for watching and from the two of us we will see you very soon. Bye! Bye.